Hey, this is Aaron with Faith to Walk Ministries, and I'm going to be talking about two Bibles. And most of you know, of course, my favorite Bibles is the Cambridge Turquoise, uh, the Goatskin Leather, Leather Liner. Also, uh, second one is the Church Bible Publishers, Center Column Reference Bible, the Turquoise. And I do really enjoy the top grain leather. Also, they have it uh, iron calfskin. Not sure if they make it in lambskin, but I think they're bringing they have it in the water buffalo. But I'm talking about the Thomas Nelson Bibles now, and so these are two Bibles. Kind of looking what they, you know, they're they're very quality made ones in yesteryear, and kind of what we have today. And so this one right here was my dad's I got when he passed away, and. It is, you'll see that the stain's been worn out here and here. This is where my dad held it, and we turn the pages. I will never rebind this Bible because that is just way too special to rebind, so I will not be doing that. Um, and so what's nice about this is, you know, back in the day, I think my dad, you know, with comparison to what we paid today, I paid a pretty good dollar for this one. It is... Genuine cowhide back then. It had a uh, tooled hubs. See there? Had a, it was a very good size. Had a line here. I like the way the paper looks on the inside. Kind of a marble, brown marble look. What's nice all about it is, you know, he took time to do the family tree. Yeah, there I am. Uh, so it's very nice. But what I like about this Bible is, like I said, back in the day, it was it was some money. I remember dad, dad, my dad reading this one. Had really good font. I say about twelve point font. Had really good legible center column references. Of course, had your kind of your top of the page summaries. Didn't have any summaries in the book. Each uh, book did did not begin on its own page. Uh, well, that one did, <laughs> but more they normally do not. Um, but it, but back in the day, it had very nice features. Um, besides the presentation page, of course, it had the contents. This one was made, I'm sorry about the shadow there, in 1972. 1972, Thomas Nelson, when they were in, uh, they said Nashville, but look, this is Camden, New York. Um... I had the Bible guy, Bible stories, great Bible stories, uh, questions about God and man. But it had just, just a very nice head red letter. Head index. Most of them just fell out. Had a good concordance. And I didn't think this was my sewn at first. It looked like it was just glued. But when I got back to the maps, lo and behold, there are stitching marks in here. Um, but... You know something, I won't be probably using this Bible. It's more for a keepsake. It's when I think of my dad sometimes, I'll grab it. I'm a sentimental guy. A sentimental guy. Um, so, you know, just to hold where he had the Bible and would read the very words off the same page as my dad would read. And so, very nice. Now, this is the newest King James Version. Premier Collection. It is uh, their giant print reference Bible, Comfort Print. It is uh, goat skin leather with a leather liner. It is edge lined. See, so this was a paste down. This one's edge lined. Still has your gold around the side. Very nice. It has art gilting. It is my sewn. Um... Just a very nice Bible. Well, I like about it is the font is Comfort Print. It was made by uh, 2K Denmark. And what's nice about the Comfort Print, I'm going to let you know, is what they do is they looked at each word and just went through just the best spacing between the letters, between the words, between the lines. Each letter, the shape of them, you know, the, the artistry of each of them, both capital and lowercase. And they designed it to be the most comfort print that you could read for long periods of time without eye, you know, being your eyes getting tired and weary. Um, I noticed that even when I read my my 
in fact, it, I love it. They have some very nice accents, um, such as top of the page. You do have the red summaries. Each reference is red. Book on the top is red. I'll let you see that a little closer. When you start a new book, of course, the book title will be in red. There we go. Has a little general summary. Chapters in red. First letter red. First letter of each chapter is uh, more cap red. It is a black letter text, which you know, I do love the red letter, but I'm, I tell you what, I am enjoying this Bible so much. It does come with three ribbons, two black and one red. I put in some bigger ribbons just placed in there because um, I tuck my other ribbons in there for longevity just to let them last longer. But I tell you what, what I really... Uh, so Tom uh, Thomas Nelson did a really good job with their... Uh, you know, top of the line was back then, but they've stepped it up about 100% with these. I thoroughly enjoy it. And of course, in the back of the Bible, you do have your uh, concordance. I think there's like 74 or 76,000 references. And you do, and it is an authorized King James Version. And also I love is you do have, you know, a little bit of Kind of saying what the maybe some own English words are, uh, set, you know what they mean. You have some uh, more little Hebrew Greek wor words out to the side, you know, sort of like the King James translators did, and when they put it in the turquoise, um, you might come across some that are really great. Might come across some that you think would be, you know, not as accurate or not as uh, clear, uh, but very nice. I do enjoy that the, even the center card references are very legible. There we go. Good type. And what I like about this, because even though I love the Cambridge Turquoise, I tell you, when we get late at night, my eyes get tired. The cell and common reference can get hard to read. Um, so sometimes when that happens, I switch to this Bible and I have no problem. Like I said, in the back, you have the miracles of Jesus Christ, parables of Jesus Christ, when you're reading plan and your concordance. You do have, right before the maps, you have this little page on the 2K Denmark, the note regarding the type. But what I love about this Bible, i tell you what, I really enjoy it. It is feels good in the hand now there's no like i said there's no uh re there's no raid hubs there's no tool hubs but still feels really nice and smooth in the hand it, it almost feels feels like butter it's so floppy i love the feel of that love the feel of that floppiness but i tell you what here's kind of just a side note and this is be probably just for me but when i read it when I read this Bible, it kind of reminds me of my dad's Bible. He had a Thomas Nelson reference, and now I have a Thomas Nelson reference. And I don't know, just a sentimental thing that when I read it, um, I don't know, it just kind of reminds me of what my dad would use and what my dad used all those years. Um... So it's a little special. So I tell you what, I'll probably start dribbling and rambling on this sentimental <laughs> guy that I am. But I, I tell you what, just love the Word of God. Read it, study it, believe it, live it, share it, preach it. Um, it is so special to get into the Word of God where God speaks with us. And so, hey, thank you for watching. If you like what we watch. Uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell, ding, so you can get notifications on future videos. And thanks for watching again. And uh, sorry about the little shadow here. And God bless.